This video is about how to create an AI-generated video in Leonardo. There are a number of ways to go about it. We're going to go through the two very specific and most common ways to create a video. First, click on Video on the front page. Here you'll see the current model is Motion 2.0. This first option is related to prompts and it's default automatic which means you can put in a shorter prompt and Leonardo will expand that prompt to offer more detail and guidance to the AI, generating the video. Or you can have that option always on or turn it off if you want the prompt to be exactly what you put in with no interpretation. There are a number of predetermined styles that you can consider for your images and video. Here we have vibe, lighting, which can be very helpful if you're looking for a certain feel or emotion within the theme of your video. And then of course, color theme. These are all represented on the side here as well as up at the top of this panel. You have different options for dimensions such as two by three, four by five, 16 by nine and nine by 16, which is common for social media. You can determine the quality for ADP versus 720. There's an option for private mode, which will keep your videos out of the feed. You can add to a collection. This is smooth frame, which is really helpful for transitions. And if you have a negative prompt, in other words, you're seeing something in your videos that you don't like and you want the AI to stop doing, or you just know in advance, I don't want this type of interpretation or certain elements that may be common to a specific scene. Just turn that on and you can add your negative prompt. Now the first way to generate an image is to have a prompt and we have this on auto so it'll extend our prompt to develop the scene. We'll say a firefighter running out of an exploding building carrying a kitten. As you can see here, the AI has extended the prompt which we gave it permission to do with auto prompt. Okay, as often Leonardo does, it says this image may be explicit. It says that for everything. It's set it for puppies and kittens. So click this. So here we go, and it's a firefighter picking up a kitten, I guess, and running towards the camera. It's not necessarily exploding, but it's kind of the right idea. Now here's the thing. We have another option. We can actually find the initial image that we like, which is often what what I consider the best approach. So what we can do is go to flow state, put that same prompt, and as you can see here, we can decide, see these are, this is nice, that's nice, and we can tell Leonardo what we like. So maybe this is, let's start, let's start with this, say more like this. Here you go, this is a nice composition. So we can download this image. Yeah, let's download this one. And now we can use the base image that we know we like. In other words, the scene that we like versus guessing. Go back to video, upload with the first frame. There we go. There's our first frame. And we have the same prompt and go. Okay, here we go once again. Here we go. I'm not sure I like the motion. It's the scene that I want, but he's not running the way I would like to do it. So I'm going to try one more. And now I'm going to create a horizontal. So what do we think is wrong with this? We could consider negative prompts or extend this prompt. So let's extend the prompt versus putting in a negative prompt, although there's nothing wrong with negative prompts. Okay, so Firefighter running out of an exploding building, carrying a kitten, looking and running directly toward the camera. I think that will help. 
Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Hmm. No, <laughs> I don't think so. That, that, no. No, no, no. Let's give it one more shot. Okay, I changed some words around to mix things up. A firefighter is running fast out of an exploding building, running toward the camera, carrying a kitten, looking directly into the camera. So I've put running in there twice. So hopefully that will help. All right, let's see if we got it this time. There we go. Much better. Not sure. The kitten's a little, uh, looks like it's going to fall a couple times. <laughs> a little morphing there, but much closer to what I was looking for along the way. And Leonardo is a good platform with lots of tools. And there are a lot of tools for developing video as well as images where it's best known. And there are better places to create videos than Leonardo. But Leonardo is a good all-in-one package. So we could tweak this some more and develop it and get exactly what we want. But you can see the process. And that's the main thing about this video, to show you the process. If you want to learn more about being a creative AI director, head over to the free webinar at creativeaishow.com. And of course, don't miss the free podcast every Monday on this YouTube channel, as well as your favorite podcast location, where we are two creative guys talking AI.